Buongiorno a tutti, hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Healthy Nasty Kitchen and today we're learning how to make a sourdough starter from scratch so stay focused because it takes very little time to do so let's go down on the bench and do it straight away let's begin by putting 40 grams of water into a bowl add 40 grams of strong flour and even if you are unprecise with the measurement, it doesn't really matter. And keep and start stirring. Stir the mixture, mix well. Even if you have a few lumps, it's not actually an issue because they will dissolve with the time. If it becomes too thick, like in my case, you can add two tablespoons of water and bring it to a consistency of a paste like. As much as close to the texture of a pancake mixture. Once it's well combined and mixed and brought to the level that you want it, cover it with a tea towel to keep the flies away. For the next two days, just stir the mixture to keep the molds and the back bacteria away. Here we are, two days after, the starter shows a few signs of bubbles and we can feed that again, with the same amount of flour and water as we started the first day. So 40 grams of flour and 40 grams of water. You will probably notice that in this case the texture will be a bit more watery because some of the gluten has been eaten by the bacteria and lactic acid bacteria and the ferment fungus into the starter. Now we mix it, stir properly like we usually do, combine it, it needs to look like a creamy texture and now we put it into the jar that we will use as a vessel to contain it. The jar will also help us to measure the growth of the starter and we can help ourselves either by drawing a line or by putting an elastic band just like in this case you can see this way you will be able to see and measure the growth. Here we are, it's doubled in six, eight hours. I have to say that in my case, I was in summer, so the temperature helped the fermentation very much. So if you are in winter, it might take you a bit longer than that. So now we proceed with the last feed before attempting to make the first sourdough loaf. As previously, we'll take out some starter out of the bowl. In this case, we'll take out eight Perfect, we add 80 grams of water as well. So we are now 160 grams of mixture and then we'll be adding another 80 grams of strong flour. As you see, it's very simple to follow this method. It's very simple to follow and, and to, get it, to get it done. Look, mix well, completely and keep stirring. See? Once it's nice and creamy, we can put it back into the jar, as we did the first time, to check the growth and the speed of the growth as well. I use the same jar that I emptied it before, I just rinsed it a bit, and even if there are some residuals material from the previous fermentation, it's not a problem. Here we go. Now we will have to lift the rubber band to make sure that we keep it to the level. Here we go, perfect. Now the starter will go to sleep and we'll check it in four hours. And it's by magic. Here we go, he almost tripled. He almost tripled. I was so surprised to see that. I didn't expect that to happen on the third or fourth day. I really did not expect that. It's such a growth. And uh, I have to be honest, it really summer help you. So if you wanna start making your sourdough, during, do it during summer. Now you got your starter, your starter is active, you're ready to go and bake your first loaf. Now you can follow this recipe on the screen now in this video or you can follow the whole sourdough masterclass that I published a few weeks ago up here. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Ciao!